Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hope you guys are well. So today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you guys can make a login form or a registration form using just Python. And before we start, if you guys are new in my channel, then please please subscribe, like this video, and press the bell icon for the future videos. So let's go back to our tutorial. Now first you have to open your code editor and then create a project and here you can see that this is my project login in python now right click on this and now we have to create a python file this python file will be project.py that's it now here you can see that i have created a project.py file now for creating this registration from i am going to using kinter module and uh, I have already installed this Kinter module in my project file and if you don't have installed this package in your project file then go to terminal and here you just have to type pip install and then Kinter that's it and then type enter okay but I don't have to type enter because I have already installed this package in my project file so first I have to import this Kinter file in my project file so that's why from Kinter. I want to import everything so that's why import and then star that's it now I want this Kinter file into a root file so that's why we have to first give a root and then Kinter okay so now I want to this root file to be always main loop so that's why root dot it will be main loop that's it now first here now we have to create a form we have to create a window for showing our registration from so that's why I will give root and uh, now I will call our geometry property and here we have to give a width and height and uh, I will give a width of 500 and uh, then x and uh, I will give a height of 300 that's it so if we now run our file Here you can see that now I have a window here and this is 500 width and 300 height. Now here I will put my heading, my entry field and the name field, phone number field or anything you want. So for doing this first I am going to create a heading here. So for creating our heading we have to take level that's it and I want this level to be in the root file. So that, that's why root and I want to show a heading so that's why we have to give text. And uh, inside this text we have to give a heading and here I will give python registration form that's it and uh, now I will give a font and our font will be Arial and uh, I will give a font size and it will be 15 and I want this font size to be in bold that's it so if we now run our file here you can see that we can't see anything because we have to use grid file or we have to pack this level file so that's why I, I am using grid so that's why dot grid and here now we have to give row and uh, column so for row it will be in 0 and uh, for column it will be in 3 so now if we run here you can see that I can see my python registration form heading here now I want some field here like name field, phone number field or gender field so for doing this now we have to create some variable so my first variable for our name will be name and uh, this will be a level and uh, I want to this level to be in the root file and uh, text will be name that's it now I will just simply duplicate this for our phone number, for our gender and uh, for our emergency and uh, for our payment mood that's it so this will be our phone and our text will be also phone this will be capital letter N that's it and uh, this will be our gender and uh, this will be also gender now this will be our emergency and uh, this will be also our emergency and uh, here it will be payment mode and it will be also payment mode 
so after initializing our label files now we have to pack these variables so that we can show these things in our form so if we now run our form here you can see that we don't have anything because we have to pack these things first or we have to use grid for this thing so that's why first i will give grid so for packing this thing we have to use grid and here in this grid we have to use two value one is row and one is column and for our column it will be everything in our second column now i will just simply duplicate this line and this will be for our name field and this will be for our phone number field this will be for our gender field this will be for our emergency field and this will be for our payment mode field that's it and here row will be here you can see that our heading was in row 0 and so our name field will be row 1 and this will be row 2 and this will be row 3 4 and 5 that's it so if we now run our file here you can see that now we have our name field our phone gender emergency and payment mode now i want some fields so that we can type our name we can type our phone number and other things so for doing this we have to create entry here in our python file so for doing this now we have to use entry field and before first we have to create some variables for storing our values from our name for our phone number for our gender for our emergency and for, for our payment mode so i want some variables so that these values can be stored on that variable so that's why now we have to create some variable so for our name field i will give name value and it will be actually a string var and i will create our phone number value and this will be our also a string var now i just simply duplicate this line that's it so this will be our gender and this will be our emergency and this will be for our payment boot that's it so now if we now run our file here i want a check button for remembering me or anything so i want a check button here so so the variable name will be check value check value will be integer because it will be either one or either zero so that's why it will be an integer value so that's it so now we have to create our entry field so that's why I type entry and here it will be entry that's it and our entry value always will be in our root file and the text variable will be that variable name for that entry so i will just simply duplicate this line so this first entry will be for our name entry so here it will be name and our text value will be also name value because in our name entry whenever i write something i want that value to be stored in our name value which is here name value and this is actually a string because our name will be always be a string so that's why i used name value here so after name value now we have to create our second entry which is our phone number and our phone number entries will be saved in our phone number value third entry will be for our gender and uh, this value will be also stored in our gender value that's it and our fourth value is will be for our payment mode and uh, this value will be also stored in our payment mode value and uh, this value will be for our emergency and uh, this value will be stored in our emergency value that's it so if we now run our file here you can see that we can't see our entry field because we have to pack these values first then we can see our entry field so that's why now we have to pack our files so our first entry will be name entry and uh, now use grid that's it and here we have to give row and a column so this will be row and the second value will be column that's it now i just simply duplicate this line and this will be for our phone number entry and this will be for our gender entry and this will be for our emergency entry 
and then this will be our payment mode now our column will be 3 for every field and our row will be here you can see that our heading is in our row 0 so uh, it will be row 1 and uh, 2 3 and 4 and 5 that's it this will be payment mode so if we now run here you can see that we can see our entry here and we if we now write anything here it will be stored in our name variable so here you can see that this is our name variable so now i want to make our checkbox here underneath this field so for doing this let's recap everything for a while so that we can understand better so here you can see that first we have imported our kinter file and then i put this kinter file in in our root file and here you can see that this is for our frame our registration frame that's why i used width and height and this will be for our heading so let's comment out this will be our heading and here you can see that these fields will be for our field name that's it and after creating our fields we have to pack these fields so that's why there we are packing our field here so that's why it will be packing fields that's it so after packing fields we have created some variable so that our values can be stored here so that's why here it will be variable for storing data that's it so after this part we have created our entry field so here you can see that we have created our entry field so here we'll be creating entry field that's it so after our creating entry field now we have to packing our this entry field so that's why here in this part i am packing all our entry field so that's why here will be packing entry fields so after our packing entry fields now we have to create our checkbox so here it will be checkbox so creating checkbox that's it now here in our checkbox we have to first create a variable so this will be check button and our check button is will be actually a button so that's why we have a check button here so this will be check button and here now we have to give a text for our check button and this text will be remember me that's it and uh, i want to store this value in our this check value variable so that's why now we have to get this variable here so variable will be check value that's it and uh, now we have to packing this button so that's why check button dot greet now we have to give a row value so our row value will be after 5 it will be 6 here and uh, we have to give a column value and our column value will be 3 that's it now if we run our file here you can see that we have a check button here remember me check button so now here you can see that we have created our heading we have created our name and our gender and emergency and payment mode and we have created our entry field and here you can see that we have created a remember me button also now we have to create a button for our submitting so for doing this let's comment out first this would be submit button that's it so for creating button we have to get button here and uh, for our button our text to be submit that's it now i want to create a function here because whenever i will create in our button in our submit button it will send us a message that we have accepted the form we have accepted some details so for doing this here it will be a command that's it and uh, in this command we have to create a function and uh, this function name will be get wells that's it now we have to pack everything here so that's why we have to use grid and here we have to give a row value and column value for our row value it will be 7 and our column value will be 3 that's it so now here you can see that we have created a get value function now we have to define this function at the top here so let's define our function here that's it 
Now whenever we click on our submit button, here you can see that whenever we click in our button, I want to send a message in our terminal here. So for doing this here, we have to just type print and here we have to write accepted. That's it. So now if we run, here you can see that we have our submit button here. So now every time we click on our submit button, here you can see that we have a accepted message. If we now click on our submit button again, we have again accepted. And if we now click on our submit button again, so here you can see that we can see again accepted. I think we have created our Python registration from here. Actually, we have done a spelling mistake here in our registration. I'm sorry about that. So this will be. So yeah, that's it. It will be registration. So I'm sorry about the spelling mistake. So if we now run again, here you can see that now everything is okay. So now we have our name field, phone number field, gender field, emergency field and our payment mode here. So here we have some entries and we have created a check button and we have created a button here. Every time we click on our button, we can see some message here. If you now click again, we can see a message again. And now in our next tutorial, we will make this registration from functional. So that's it guys, we have created our python registration from, I think you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you guys really enjoyed this tutorial then please please subscribe, like this video and press the bell icon for the future videos and if you guys have any question about this video, you guys can comment below and I see you guys in our next tutorial.